I am anti-ethno state, which Israel is. Um, there have been over 50,000 women, children, men decimated in the past nine months um, because uh, as a response to the October 7th resistance from Hamas um, after 75 years of apartheid and oppression. So um, I'm just doing my piece as a Jewish woman from New York to say Judaism is not Zionism. And I am for a free, a free Palestine and a free Gaza. Why, why this event? Why are people protesting at this event? Well, um, specifically, AOC um, put out a statement last week condemning the protest um, at the uh, from the music festival. There's a there's a thing in Manhattan um, that is um, I don't know an exhibit about the music festival. Uh, from October 7th in Israel, and there was a protest, a right protest against the narrative, right, that, they, that, that the Zionists are portraying um, that anyone against Israel um, and their policies are Zionists. And AOC put out a statement um, specifically condemning the, um, the protesters and saying that we're all anti-Zionist, which is, I mean, anti-Semitic, sorry, which is interesting um, because as a Jew, as I said, I am 100% anti-Zionist and not anti-Semitic at all. So we are protesting AOC specifically and the entire Democrat party that has kind of cowered and fallen to the wayside, unfortunately. Zionism and Judaism are obviously very related. Um, we've all grown up, at least, I mean, listen, I'm older, right? So I grew up with Israel having the right to exist. Israel um, is a land for people, for people without a land. Um, but once I did a, a, literally a half an hour of research, I realized that Israel colonized the Palestinians in 1948 when it became a state. So. It's a narrative that the Israelis have been um, putting out for 75 years, right? From the very beginning, they were anti-Zionists. And they, they, they came together to conflate anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism, which has been, I have to say, a very successful tool, right? That the Israelis and, the, and their allies have used um, to, to keep basically keep a distance and give them 100% impunity for what they've done. I mean, October 7th is nothing, right? October 7th is nothing compared to 75 years of murder, oppression, land stealing, you know, uh, apartheid. So yeah, it's a very standard Israeli narrative to say that Zionism is Judaism. And we're here to say, especially the Jews, it is not. Would you like to see to the current problem with Israel and Palestine? How, how would you like things to um, be resolved and move forward in that region? Um, you know, obviously, a free Palestine from river to the sea, and Jews and Israel, Israelis and Palestinians living in harmony, in equality, in peace, as it was before Israel became a state. Um, many different ethnic, ethnicities and, Jew, and religions lived in peace prior to 1947. Um, so if we can get back to that, I have no idea if that's possible because the Israelis um, are digging deep. They, they don't want to give up. They want the entire space for themselves and uh, we're, we're fighting against it. I mean, a two-state solution, equality for all, would be great. I'm not sure it's, if it's going to happen in my lifetime. So you think either two state or one state would be okay with you uh, going forward? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else that you'd like other New Yorkers, other Americans to know about this issue and, and why you came out to this specific event today? Um, I just think that we should all, you know, find the courage to stand up um, for freedom for all because um, 
injustice to one is really injustice to all. And all of our oppression, of all of the um, oppressed, uh, of all of the marginalized people, the gays, the Jews, the brown people, the people of color, they're all interconnected. So no one is free until we're all free. Thank you. Thank you.